I have the honor of presenting the 2024 Impact Award winner. And I hope you all are prepared to just listen to me for a little bit because I've got a lot to say about this person. Um, and bear with me, I lost my voice earlier today, so I'm really gonna power through this. The Impact Award criteria, any individual, business, or organization who has demonstrated outstanding achievement for the betterment of Ottawa County is eligible for this award must be a person, organization, or business who has high integrity, great ethical standards, distinguished leadership qualities, provided monetary support, or caused support for area projects, is progressive-minded, is or has been actively involved in the community, believes that a cooperative effort achieves common goals, and should be a model for others to emulate. A native of Miami, Oklahoma, and co-founder of a local business, this recipient has served a lifetime of community service. The service includes supporting youth, education, sports, music, drama, and art programs. Tonight's Impact Award recipient has exhibited the qualities of a servant leader by devoting her life to her family, faith, and the people of this community. Her community service includes, but is certainly not limited to, ex officio member of the Miami De Downtown De Redevelopment Authority with special assignments, board member of the Community Crisis Center, board member and grant writer for the Friends of the Coleman Ottawa County Historical Society, served on the library board for 20 years, past president, Miami Letters and Arts, past pre president, Miami J.C. James, past president, Miami Rotary Anns, history committee member for the Miami Centennial Committee, co-chairman of Oklahoma's Junior Miss Pageant, served on the committee to establish Miami's first public school kindergarten, past president, Oklahoma Pharmacist Auxiliary. Her past awards include outstanding local president, Oklahoma J.C. James, Woman of Distinction, 1999, given by the Ozark Area Girl Scout Council, outstanding alumnus, NEO a and College, 1996. All right, now you're ready, because here it comes. <laughs> Her most valued accomplishments. Growing Osborne drugs from the original store in Miami to more than 30 stores in the region. She helped her husband in leadership of local, state, and national pharmacy organizations. Around 1985, a dedicated group of Miami citizens began exploring options to save and restore the historic Coleman Theater. She, and along with her husband, traveled to Florida to visit Mr. Coleman to begin the discussions with the Coleman family about donating the theater to the city of Miami. They worked with both the Coleman family and the city of Miami to complete the donation of the theater. It was important to her that the theater be available to Miami public school children as a school auditorium and a resource for experiencing theater, music, and the arts since the school system did not have an auditorium. She was instrumental in the Coleman Theater's 25-year restoration effort as a member of the Friends of the Coleman. As co-fundraiser, she led the Friends of the Coleman in a fundraising drive which raised $90,000 from the community, along with countless volunteer hours to help restore and update the mighty Wurlitzer organ. One of her favorite events at the Coleman has always been the Boohaha Parade, where thousands of Ottawa County children have had a chance to walk on the Coleman Theater stage and celebrate Halloween. Another valued accomplishment was serving on the Ottawa County Historical Society to assist with reinvigorating, remodeling, and the expansion of the Dobson Museum. 
she served as president of the Mima Public Library Board during its $300,000 expansion, where the size of the library was doubled to include a dedicated children's library. A ramp and elevator were also added to make the building fully accessible to all. She is an accomplished singer and has been featured as a soloist in the Lions Club Minstrels, all six Mima Misbehaving shows, the 4th of July city celebrations, the 200th anniversary celebration of the USA attended by 5,000 in Miami, Night of Nostalgia at the Coleman Theater, and many, many more. She has performed for many civic organizations in the city and began sharing her great musical talent as a member of her church choir when she was a junior in high school. To quote her son, Bill, her most prized accomplishment is her family. She chose to spend her time in the work of raising her children, working in her church, and community as a volunteer. Not many women are able to do this in the world we live in today. She's had more success at this endeavor than almost anyone you can point to. As we travel around these days, here in Miami and everywhere we go, people are in awe of her ability in rearing a family with three doctors, one pharmacist, and one lawyer in five children, she is justifiably proud of her children's education and professional careers. She has been featured in a book about 100 successful families. Her family was one of two families from the state chosen by the Oklahoma Education Association to be interviewed. It is a very fitting for a person choosing to work with her family rather than have a professional career to be honored. In this day of concern over family values, it is even more needed, end quote. Now I would like to share a quote from Amanda Davis, former director of the Miami Convention and Visitors Bureau. A wise leader once stood in front of a large crowd in downtown Miami during the groundbreaking for the new Coleman Theater Ballroom and shared with the group a saying that has so much truth. A, so a society grows when leaders plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. Since that time, a special Miamian has made it her life's mission to continue to put service above self. When 1,000 kids walk across the Coleman stage on Halloween, they all leave with a toy, thanks to the generosity of our Impact Award winner. When it comes time to make sizable donations for student scholarships at banquets each year, well, there she is again. When a need arises and the history and knowledge of Miami is needed in a moment's notice, a phone call is made, and we all know exactly who will have the answers we seek. As the saying goes, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Our Impact Award winner is a true gift to Miami, and she has organized and led an army of volunteers, donors, and community leaders for decades. How truly lucky are we? Amanda continues her tribute Tonight I am grateful for the mentorship and love from this special lady. She saw a young new mother in a new community and her guidance and encouragement for me in my career is worth more than I could ever express in words. Thank you for loving people and sharing your wisdom with me. So many things happen behind the scenes in this community and we never know who did it or how it happened. Thank you, Miami Chamber, for this opportunity to honor such a lovely person that has lived her life behind the scenes. Tonight, we get to show our appreciation, end quote. She is the matriarch of our community and a personal role model of mine and countless others. Her beautiful smile is infectious 
and her servant's heart. Well, this is part of us. <laughs> Not many times in my life have I been speechless, but I'll be over it really quick. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I want to say, everyone of you that lives as long as I have, will love those just like that if you love the community. You really will. If you should take somebody that's willing to say, I'll be with you. And then people rush to say, I want to go. And that's the way the community is. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but I just appreciate this so much. I'm so surprised. I guess I, if you live and you love and you give to a community like this, it will give you back all the people. 